In this video, I'm going to talk about digital planning on the newly released Samsung Galaxy S7 Tab Plus and an overview of a few of the different digital planning apps available on Android. I'll be demonstrating some of their functionality using our digital planners. In my previous video, I did a more detailed walkthrough of NoteShelf, so please check that out if you're interested. Now, the S7 Plus comes with a S Pen as well, which is very lightweight, and the nib has a material which makes it quite um, realistic when you're actually using it to write it. It doesn't feel like you're writing on glass quite as much as other devices. Now the actual display on this is a 12.4 inch which is a lot bigger than the previous models that are in the Samsung Galaxy range and it really does make a difference when you're using it for digital planning. So one thing you'll notice in the S7 Plus is that if you go to Galaxy Picks you'll find Note Shelf within here. Now this is actually a paid for app but this comes free with the um, S7 tab and um, it's quite a use it's a good digital planning app so we'll go through that shortly but it's quite nice that it comes free with the actual tablet. Before we get into the different apps that I'm going to go through, which is uh, NoteShelf, Zodo and OneNote, very briefly. Now, before I get into the functionality of these digital planning apps, you, one thing you'll notice is you'll have a floating pen icon in, on your screen. Just tap this. What this allows you to do is create a note wherever you are at any point. Just to create note. And then you can just write in straight, straight away um, some notes that you need to do. So you can then do a shopping list on here straight away. And then if you just tap the bit at the bar, at the top of the bar, you can just hit the cross, and that then uh, saves it for the future. So if I come back here and I view all notes, I'll be able to see previous notes that I've created. So it also has the pen icon and you can do a screen write. So supposing you want to do a screenshot, you can take this, choose a different color pen because it's a bit dark on this background. And then you can just draw some arrows or whatever you want to write on here. So it's quite a useful tool to be able to start using your stylus. In terms of the stylus, you can see how responsive it is. It's, it feels very um, fluid. I don't notice a delay between um, touching the actual screen and for the um, stroke to come up. And um, it's, I'm used to using the Apple Pencil and I, I think it's just as good as that. It does also have a button at the top and I think by default, um, it will actually go to as an eraser tool. So if you just hold it down, you can actually erase the items rather than having to select eraser each time. Also, if you go to the settings in here, um, one bit I should mention is if you go to um, advanced features, see so S Pen first, is you've got different settings here, so I suggest you have a little look through these to see um, how you find it. Um, but you've got this show pointer when hovering. So if you have this on, now let me just go back to the, the note, you can see it's got this uh, cursor, a pointer as you're hovering over it. I find that particularly distracting, so what I personally do is take that off. And I think then it's just a bit, for me, it's, it's a bit nicer for when I'm actually using the pen. So next I'm going to go through some of the digital planner apps available on Android. Um, so I'm going to do NoteShelf, which already comes pre-installed. Um, Zodo, uh, which is a free digital planning app. And Microsoft OneNote, uh, which has certain functionality, which is quite useful. So starting with NoteShelf, if I just tap on this. What I'm going to do is just create a, uh, a quick notebook, just talk through the basic functionality. Um, and this isn't going to be a detailed tutorial on each of these apps. I, we have separate videos, so please check out the other videos um, in our channel. But what this does is it creates a, an instant uh, notebook, and you can then just jot down. Um, you can write straight on here. You're able to highlight. You can delete. You can add text boxes on here, and you can change the size and so on um, as through a text box. You're able to lasso different objects. Let me just change some of the colours on here. You can lasso different objects, move them around, and reposition and decorate as you would like. Um, different apps have different functions. So NoteShelf has the ability to bring in um, some clip art automatically. So you can just add images directly onto your page, as so you can decorate it as you see fit. So um, you also have, for example, shape tools which allow you to snap to draw shapes um, better. And then you also have different pages, so you can create different sorts of templates. So just do page from template. You can add in, for example, line pages and so on. But then you can use this to jump between pages. So this is the basics of digital planning to give you an idea how it, how it works. However, what shops have, have now done is create some uh, files, which you can now import into these apps. So I'm just now going to show one of the digital planners that come with our shop. So 
this is just one version. We have uh, many different types of uh, planners. But for example, this is our 2021 planner. And what you can do is you can actually use, um, so planners will have hyperlinks. So what that means is that you can jump between pages. So we can jump between the different months. They also come with, for example, weekly. So you then have a weekly section for each of the different weeks, as well as daily pages as well. Some of our bundles come up to 160 planners. So you can really customize what sort of planner you want, what sort of weekly setup you want, what sort of daily pages, what color of your planner, and so on. So it just gives you a bit of flexibility. And then also what you have is some templates. So let's suppose you want some uh, goals. So you've got some goals or goal setting. You can use these templates, copy them throughout the different pla um, places in the planner, and then really track your uh, the things you're working to. And so in our templates, for example, we have a lot of different ones. For example, deals, finances, goals, habit, meal, shopping, diet, and so on. What digital planners will also come with is, for example, our one comes with uh, stickers packs. So we have over, I think, over 1,000 stickers now. So you can just now copy these and bring them into your planner. So you're able to decorate as you would like. So it's just an easy way. They come pre-imported. You can see that they're transparent. So what I mean by that is you can see through the edges. So it's not like a white block. And it just makes it a lot easier than you having to copy and paste them in. So we ha this is how, for example, the digital planning can be helpful to decorate your planners and to track it and so on. So Note Shelf comes pre-installed. It's got quite a good uh, usability. And it does have some, as I showed you before, some clip art. And also, let me just go to here, it also has some templates as well. So as I showed you these templates, you're able to add to that. They have their own um, free template section. I'm just going to go to here, free covers and paper templates. So for example, students, they have some templates designed for students, productivity, and so on. So you can, you need to sign up to NoteShelf um, uh, account, but then you can import these templates in and use them as you as you would like. So hopefully that gives you a, a, bit, a bit of an overview of Note Shelf and how to start a digital planning. So next is uh, Zodo. This is a free digital planning app and what you can do is you import your PDFs into here and then you can um, write on it just like in Note Shelf. Um, the interface is slightly different um, but the principles are exactly the same. So you can just write on here. You can use the hyperlinks to jump through the planners um, and you can add images to the planner and um, just go to your photos or whichever you would like to do and then import it in. So it's very similar in, in, to, uh, in NoteShelf but the actual, the way you use it is slightly different so people may have a preference on which one they prefer. Um, you have the eraser tool and so on. So it's, it's similar uh, method. But this is a free app, so if you don't have, um, if your tablet hasn't come, your Android device hasn't come with um, NoteShelf for free, you, I would suggest trying out uh, Zodo first and see if that, that works for you. So the last digital planning app I'm going to cover is OneNote. And um, this is quite different from the other apps, um, which are more PDF annotator apps. Um, as OneNote, it works across platforms. So it works on Android, it works on Windows PCs, and it works on iPads and Surface Pro. So it does allow you to be able to um, edit your planner um, between multiple devices and even share it at the same time. So if I just go to OneNote, um, what you will see is it's not quite like the others. Um, you basically have these navigational panels on the left-hand side, um, but the principle is the same, that we have um, the different months, we have different templates, this is the template index, and then we have various different templates um, within, within the planner that you're able to copy and to paste within um, the other sections. Um, this is our black uh, paper version, um, and it comes with uh, different covers and a variety of the same stickers as well. Um, one thing I would say with OneNote um, on Android is it is a little bit more limited. So, for example, one of the things that frustrates me is that, for example, you can't, there's no zoom to the whole page width, so you do have to zoom in and zoom out. Um, but it still works and it does allow you to be able to use it on other devices at the same time. So at the moment, it's the only app that works cross-platform. So it's quite useful if, you're, if you are using different devices. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of digital planning on the S7 Plus. I do also have at the end of this an unboxing video, which goes through what the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus comes with. And so you can see it straight out of the box. 
If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you're interested in the planner, check out the description where we have some information on where to buy that from. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much.